today I'm going to be making some fritters. So I've done this before, I've done lots of different types of fritters. Um, but this one I'm not actually using like a batter, so there's no flour, which means it's gluten free. So yay. Um, we are going to be making cheese and broccoli fritters. Right, so let's have a look and see how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we need is some broccoli. So I've got 70 grams of broccoli. Um, it did say that you can use frozen, um, but I prefer fresh. So I've got fresh, but we need to cook it. So you put it in a bowl. Um, if it's frozen, you just cover it with some cling film, put some holes in it, and put it in the microwave. With the fresh, you need to put a little bit of water in uh, and do the same thing. I've actually got a special steamer bowl, so I just put the lid on. It's got little holes in it already. Um, so we'll put this in the microwave for three minutes, and then it should be nice and soft. Okay, so while the broccoli's on, the next ingredient is cannelloni beans. So this is going to be to bind it all together instead of having like your flour and your egg. Um, so we've got one tin which has been drained and rinsed and we're not using any gadgets or anything today. All we're using is a fork. So I'm going to mash these together with a fork. Okay, once that's done, we are going to add half a teaspoon of uh, garlic granules and some salt and pepper. I'm just adding the pepper because I'm trying to cut down my salt. And one egg which has been beaten. And then we're going to mix that all in, and then we just got to wait for the broccoli. Okay, once the broccoli's done, if you've got frozen, there might be some, some excess water in there, um, so you might want to drain that off. Um, but you put the broccoli in, and then you're likely going to mash the broccoli as well. And last thing is the cheese. Now the recipe said parmesan, but I decided to go with um, low-fat cheddar, mature cheddar. So we've got 45 grams. So I'm going to put that in. Give this all a mix around. Get the broccoli and the cheese nice and even. Okay, and that is it. That is your fritters. So we just need to get them onto the baking tray. Okay, so I've got a lined baking tray. I've got one of the um, silicone mats that you can use um, greaseproof paper. The recipe doesn't actually say, but in my experience with fritters in the oven, they always stick. So you always get some paper. Right, so we're going to split this into eight. So just get in with your hands and shape it into a fritter. I'm not sure how big they're supposed to be. There we go. Okay, I'm only going to end up with six. And this is very messy. Okay. So 
Okay, last thing to do is to spray on top some locale spray. And these are going to go in the oven at 220 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they've firmed up. Um, so I double checked because I converted this recipe from American, so it was all cups. And the beans, for some reason, it said like one tin, but I've had another look and you need two tins. That's why I haven't got very many and they're not very big. So you need two tins of beans. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let these cool down and we're going to give them a try. Okay, let's give this a try then. Mmm. Mmm. Now, a little bit dry, not too dry, I think a bit of a sauce will be fine. And you can't really taste the cheese, which is probably why they use parmesan. So if you're going to use cheddar or something like that, I'd say use a bit more and get the amount of ingredients right, unlike me. So this should be two per portion. Um, obviously mine were a lot smaller. So, um, but yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely give that one another go. More cheese, two tins of beans, and, and I'll, I'll see what happens that time. So... Yeah, that's it from me. Keep experimenting, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye!